When you hear Superbug, it might sound like a comic book villain. But in fact, a Superbug is something very serious, even scary. Consumer Reports Health and Food Deputy Content Editor Lauren Friedman helps us understand Superbugs and what we can do to prevent them. A superbug is bacteria that's developed resistance to certain antibiotics, and that makes it much harder to treat. Over 2 million people in the U.S. every year get infections that are resistant to some types of antibiotics. And over 23,000 people die each year as a direct result of antibiotic-resistant infections. Lauren says hospitals and doctor's offices are hotspots for superbug infections and can amplify their spread. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria are also prevalent in our meat supply, since the drugs have been used inappropriately in the meat industry. But our own misuse of antibiotics hasn't helped either. Here's why. Everybody has bacteria on their bodies, in their bodies, in their gut, and when you take an antibiotic, it kills some of the bacteria in your body. The bacteria that were tough enough to survive now have a chance to grow and quickly multiply. And as bacteria circulate, they can become resistant to multiple antibiotics. Then, you've got a dangerous superbug. That means it can withstand treatment from that antibiotic in the future. But we can all help prevent the rise of superbugs with these five tips to keep them at bay. First up, don't push for antibiotics. Not every type of infection should be treated with antibiotics. A lot of common infections, like the common cold and the flu, are actually caused by viruses. When you have a viral infection, taking an antibiotic won't do anything to help you. It won't make you feel better, and it won't make you less contagious. Second, if appropriate, fight it off on your own. Sometimes if you have mild symptoms, you can actually fight off a bacterial infection by yourself. So you should always ask your doctor. If your doctor thinks you definitely need an antibiotic, go with that. But if your doctor thinks it might be safe to wait a little while and see if you start to get better without it, you can also give that a try. Third, ask for targeted antibiotics. Ask your doctor if you can use a narrow spectrum antibiotic. That's an antibiotic that's targeted to certain types of bacteria. Number four, use antibiotic cream sparingly. When you have a cut, don't rush to use an antibiotic cream. Clean it thoroughly with soap and water. If you've thoroughly cleaned a cut with soap and water and there's still some dirt behind, that might be a good time to consider using an antibiotic ointment or cream. And number five, avoid infections in the first place. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water and stay up to date on your vaccines. So will superbugs ever become a thing of the past? It's unlikely, but we can all play our part in stopping their spread. Thank you.